make that uh, a question is to you that Obama has been confronted or conf or with or confronted the disappointment of his admirers. I, I really don't. I mean, he, uh, he 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 sheltered himself in so many ways with enthusiastic uh, crowds like Bush did. I don't. I really don't see that he's ever seen it, uh, and, and I think he's capable of it. You know, we always say the czar only knew. You know, he, he, he must know something. But uh, how how do you get if 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 you agree that with me about this? What do you do about it other than you can either read or not read your your what you write? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that's a little bit of a difficult question for any of us to answer because it really involves speculating about what's going on in his mind. Um, on the one hand, he's not a person who lacks um, self-confidence, and so I think that he generally would be resistant to the idea that his supporters have abandoned him, especially because he spent several years going around the country to enormous adulation, you know, stadiums full of people, waving placards with his image on it. Um, I think it has to affect somebody's mind and how they think about things. Um, and so, you know, I think that um, he's not somebody who suddenly woke up one day and said, hey, you know what, I think I'm pretty unpopular. I don't think he's conditioned to think about that. Um, at the same time, you know, he is not somebody who has spent a huge amount of time insulated. I mean, he's not actually a long-term creature of Washington. I mean, five years ago, he was living in Chicago as an obscure state senator, struggling with bills and um, living a, a fairly conventional, regular life in touch with lots of people. Um, and I don't really get the sense from him that he is so insulated that, you know, there could be all these realities going on around him and he remains unaware of it. He's talked about the need to not be insulated. Um, I think he's very perceptive and smart and, and self-aware in that regard. Um, and, you know, if you look at public opinion polls and hear the questions that you get asked and the difference between the tone of the questions now and, and the tone of what they were a year ago, um, and if you go to Massachusetts and beg those voters to vote for Martha Coakley instead of Scott Brown because your, your, your agenda will be jeopardized and, and sabotaged and they ignore you and go and vote for Scott Brown anyway, um, you know, I think anybody with any minimal amount of self-perception um, would realize that things have gone quite awry, um, and that his political strength um, and his ability to dominate the political discourse and to um, force outcomes just through sheer force of popularity and will has diminished almost to the point of nothing. And I'd be, I can only speculate, but I'd be very surprised if he wasn't aware of that at least to some degree. Okay. I